Hi, it's Tim from oraclebase.com. In this video, we'll demonstrate some of the functionality of the DBMS Cloud Package with reference to external tables based on files in a cloud object store. The DBMS Cloud Package was introduced in Autonomous Database to provide a simple way to interact with an object store from the database. It can be manually installed in on-prem installations for version 19C and 21C. In this video, we'll use an Oracle Cloud Storage Bucket, but the DBMS Cloud Package works equally well with S3 buckets and Azure Blob Storage. We have an Oracle Cloud Storage Bucket called OB Bucket which contains six files we'll use in the examples. We connect to a privileged user. We create a new user called Test User 1 and grant it some basic privileges. We give it the Create Credential privilege and grant it Execute on the DBMS Cloud package. We create a directory object called DataPumpDir pointing to the default data pump location on the database server. We grant read-write privileges on this directory to the test user and the c-hash-hash-cloud-dollar-service user. The c-hash-hash-cloud-dollar-service user performs actions for the DBMS Cloud Package. We connect to the test user and create a credential to authenticate to our Cloud Object Store. We call the Create Credential procedure, passing in a credential name, our Oracle Cloud email address, and an auth token with access to the object store. We access the cloud object store using a URI. We define variables to hold the base of the URI and a namespace. We set the base URI, which includes our region. We also set the value for our namespace, which will be included in the URI when we make calls. We use the create external table procedure to create an external table called empext. We use the credential and the URI of the file in the cloud object store. The file is pipeline delimited. We pass in a column list and specify the format using the format parameter. The default delimiter is pipe, which is why no delimiter is listed. We select from the external table and we see the data. This time we repeat the process but create a table called empcsvext using a CSV file in the Cloud Object Store. This time we use the format CSV and skip the header row. We select from the external table and we see the data. The validate external table procedure allows us to check the validity of the external table. We use the create external part table procedure to create an external partition table called country part tab ext. This time we have a partitioning clause. The GBR partition points to the GBR1 and GBR2 files. The IR partition points to the IR1 and IR2 text files. Each of these files have 1000 rows of CSV data in them. We query the external partition table and we see 2,000 rows for each country. The validate external part table procedure allows us to check the validity of the external partition table. We use the create hybrid part tab procedure to create an external hybrid partition table called country hybrid part tab ext. We use a similar partitioning clause for the GBR and IR partitions, but we also have a normal table partition for the USA data. We insert a row into the USA partition. We query the external hybrid partition table and we see 2,000 rows for each of the external partitions and a single row for the USA, which is a regular table partition. The validate hybrid part table procedure allows us to check the validity of the external hybrid partition table. 
So using the DBMS Cloud Package, we can easily create external tables based on files in a cloud object store. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.